friends! Welcome to Becca Danielle's home! Oh my goodness, you guys, we are making the cutest little bunnies this evening. They're so adorable. I can't wait. You know what I'm really excited about? I'm excited that you guys can make these with spare socks laying around your house. How about that? I think that's just the greatest thing ever. We don't even need the supplies for this stuff. There's just stuff. <laughs> oh my heavens, I love it so much. So listen, I am gonna I'm gonna uh, see if I can um, chime in on my iPad and read comments. I always say that that I get yakking so much and I forget to even look. But anyway, hope you guys are having an amazing day today. It's Friday. You know, we're, I can't believe that we're already in spring. And my gosh, you guys, things are, things are moving along quick. They're moving along really quickly these days. But now listen, this is the sweetest little guy. Now look how precious this little one is. Look at that little bunny butt. Look at its little fluffy tail back there. I just think they're so cute and they're so, so easy. And you know what? You got spare socks laying around. Grab those. Um, you know, I bought. Now, I got to share this with you guys. So, I had uh, some of these fuzzy socks. Wait a minute here. I had these fuzzy socks left over from the Gnome Project. And I didn't know if they were going to work for the bunnies or not. But I think they're going to work out really good. So, I went out today and I went to Marshall's. And I bought some men's crew socks. You guys, you know, there's always something, right? I swear, there's always something. Look at these things. I'm like, what gigantic, gargantuan human being? <laughs> Have you ever? I don't even know what to say about this. So I, I, I bought these uh, men's socks because you want to do, you know, men's white socks. Look at that. For the love of everything, that this bunny would be like, you know, two foot tall. So I don't know that these are going to work. So I'm glad that I have a backup plan because these are gigantic. So when you go out and you find your men's socks, if you decide to use a men's, uh, you know, crew sock, don't get those gigantic things. I had no idea. That's just so funny. So I do have these nice little fluffy women's socks, and that's what we're going to use to make our precious little bunnies. These are going to be really cute for the kids, too. If you've got kids at home, grandkids, neighbor kids, whatever, these are, these are precious. So it's Friday night. It's date night. It's craft night with all of you sweethearts. So grab your nibble, grab your sip, and we're going to get nice and cozy this evening. This project doesn't take very long to make. So let's make a couple of them. I think that we should just make a, a little, uh, maybe a couple of variations of these sweet little bunnies. So I've got a little red wine going this evening. It's Friday night. And I have to cheers each one of you, sweet friends. I love you all so much. Thanks for joining me at Becky Daniels Home. Hey, when you're here, let me know. Say hey to me. Let me know where you're from. And you know what I love is like we do this live and then people watch the replay. So if you're watching this on the replay later, you know, say hi so I know where you're where you're um, coming in from. I've got some of you coming in from Florida. I got some of you from Pennsylvania. I've got New Orleans, California, and I love that so much. It makes me so happy. So here's to each and every one of you. This is going to be a fun little hop into Easter project, and we're going to get going. And you probably know notice that I got my tree decorated. Well, this thing is a beast, and I will I will share this. I'm going to reveal this with you guys tomorrow. Um, I videotaped uh, decorating it, but it went out like an hour and 40 minutes is how long it took me to do it. And that's just way too long for you guys to have to watch it. So Mark's trying to condense it down to um, like a, maybe like a 20 minute, 15, 20 minute little snippet. So you can see how I did it, but I love it so much. It's like total Easter festivities happening at Becky Daniel's house right now. We are hopping into spring, getting a little later start than I wanted to this year, but that is a okay. So cheers to each one of you guys. Let's get making some really cute sock bunnies. Here we go. Mm. Yummy yum. Okay. So what we're going to need is we need a sock. And I got an assortment of various socks here. And you know what I found is I found these at Marshall's and they're women's fuzzy socks. And they were super cheap. They were $3 for three pairs. So 
Um, you're going to get, now this is six socks for $3. So the bunnies are 50 cents. If you look at it that way, they're 50 cents a bunny. So it's an affordable little project. And I loved this cream color. Whoop. I got another one here. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Okay. This was like an ombre and it goes from a lavender to a cream. I thought that was adorable. But the one that I was really loving so much is just this fluffy ivory one. So let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our sock inside out. And I have just regular old, the most inexpensive white rice that you can get anywhere, you know, Walmart, any grocery store, wherever you buy your, you know, your groceries, get the cheapest white rice because it's just going to go in a sock. So you don't need to get the expensive Matama or any of those other brands. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill our little, um, the foot of our sock with some rice. I put mine in a plastic cup here and I'm just going to fill, I'm just going to pour the rice in. And last time what I did is I sat my, when we made the gnomes, I actually sat my um, sock in a vase and then filled it. I just forgot about that till right now. So if you want to stick this into another glass cup or something like that, and then use the little plastic cup to fill it with rice, that's a good idea. Okay, so we're just going to put the, we're just pouring the rice into our little sock. And you know what, depending on how fat you want your bunny to be or how tall, that's how much rice you're going to use. And honestly, it takes more than, than you think. It really does. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pour that whole cup in. And some socks, some of these socks, you know what? They're going to stretch out a little bit more than others. So this little guy, it's stretched out pretty good. So I think I'm going to add more rice. I'm going to put a little bit more rice in my cup. You know, I did the sock gnomes with my grandkids. They still, for Valentine's Day, they still have them out. They love them so much. So this is gonna, this would be a really cute project to take place of our little sock gnomes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put more rice in my sock here. Let's see how big these this guy is. Because you want the ears, so you want, you want to have quite a bit for its, its floppy ears. So I think that's gonna be good. So that's gonna be a nice little size. So what we're gonna do is I just have twine. Um, so just take whatever, if you wanna use jute, twine, ribbon, and we're gonna tie a little uh, loop around where its body is gonna be. And then we're gonna do another little loop around the top of its head. So I'm gonna decide here, I'm gonna push this rice up. And then I'm looking at how big I want its head to be, like right there, see? So this is gonna be its floppy ears here. This part from here to here is its ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think that's gonna be really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and just tie the twine around that part and that's gonna make its body. And then the other part is gonna be making its head. So I'm just tying that twine around and I'm gonna go pretty tight not too tight because I don't want it. I don't want it to look like it's two balls. I want it to look like um, it kind of graduates up into the head. The body graduates up into the head. See, see how it kind of looks like it's sitting on there. That's what I want. That's what you want to get. And now I'm going to take another piece of twine. Actually, you guys, you know what? I did that too tight. You'll be able to tell because what is happening is the top part, if you do if you do the twine on the body too tight and it separates it, the head's gonna wanna tip over and we don't wanna have that happen. So I'm gonna loosen this up. Let me start that again. I'm gonna loosen my twine up. This is so simple and here I make it more complicated. You guys know I'm gonna do something. <laughs> so see? I'm showing you what not to do. I'm gonna show you what to do, and then I'm gonna show you what not to do. Okay, let's do that again. So I'm gonna take the body, and I'm gonna separate where my body and head are gonna be, and I'm gonna tie that off with twine, but I'm not gonna choke it to death, and that's what I was doing, you guys. I tied it so tight that it was like choking its head off, and then the head wanted to fall over. So I'm just gonna do just a little bit. I'll show you. See how that's just a little, I just tied it a little bit. So that is what we're looking for. Don't, don't try to, you know, decapitate the poor little guy. And now the top here, 
I'm gonna go ahead and tie the top off and that's gonna be his sweet little ears. I love this so much. These are so cute. And now this one you're gonna tie tight, okay? Because we don't want the rice to come back up through its ears and get out. So I'm gonna cut those off. So now here's what we've got. We've got the body and we've got his sweet little head and you can, you can shape these around. You can move the rice around and shape its head a little bit. So I'm gonna go right in the middle of this part of the sock that's left and I'm gonna cut that in half and that's gonna be its cute little floppy ears. So I've got my scissors here and I'm gonna go just cut right down the middle. Okay, there we go. There's his little floppy ears, so cute. Now, what you can do, with this guy, I put wire in there, and so you could you could actually shape its ears. If you wanted the ear to be up and flopping over, like if you want it to be like, I don't know, that didn't work out very good. But if you want it to have like some movement to it, you can put a little piece of wire right down the middle of the ear. I don't think on this one, because it's so fluffy, I don't think I need the wire in there, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of glue and I'm gonna go down the inside where I cut the, um, the sock in half and let's just glue our little ears closed. Let's go right down on the edge here. And you know, you can, if you wanted to, this looks pretty cute, this little profile of the ear, but if it's completely flat, you might wanna cut like a little um, oval in it, but I think that's really sweet. So let's go ahead and do the other ear. I like the fluffy socks. I, th I think they're just precious. I liked them for the gnome and I really like them for the bunnies. They're cute. Okay, so what I did, I just took glue. I'm gluing its little ears together. They are precious as can be. So there is the body and the head and the ears of our sweet little friend here. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to embellish this little cutie. I, um, I bought these pom-poms and they are, this is gonna be its eyes and nose. So these are uh, just, a, just about a quarter of an inch. And they have different colors in this. And I'm going to use the black for the eyes. And I'm going to use the pink for the nose. So I'll need two of these pom-poms for the eyes. And one little pink little sweetie for the nose. Let me grab those out real quick. Now all this stuff was at Hobby Lobby. All these pom-poms were $2.49. And they're 50% off right now. So it's a really good deal. Like I said, you know, the socks are going to run you 50 cents to a dollar a sock unless you have, you know, strays at your house. Like we have all these random socks around and then you're going to, you know, the pom poms and then whatever embellishments you want, little ribbons and stuff. So um, there's this little sweetheart. OK, now I am going to take and I have a skewer here. And I'm gonna um, glue the two eyes, and then well, then before we do the nose, I've got this gray twine that we tied it that we tied uh, the neck and the body with, and I'm gonna cut three pieces here, and that's gonna be its whiskers. However long you want them to be, however many you want to do, that's about how long I'm going with mine, and I am going to position them right in the middle of his sweet little face. And then his pink little nose is gonna go right on top of those. And then we'll do the two little eyeballs, okay? So let's do that real quick. I'm gonna lay him down. I'm gonna go ahead and do, and you can position its little eyes and its nose where you want on the little bunny face. I'm kinda, whoops, sorry about that. I'm kinda going like this. I'm kinda thinking I'm putting a big bow in its hair. So its eyes are gonna be about here. And then its nose is gonna sit just a little bit lower than its face, a little bit lower than the middle of its face. So I'm gonna put a little dollop of glue, hot glue, just a little teeny bit. Ah, I messed up my whiskers. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Those are the, those are the strings from the other um, piece that we cut off. Okay, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take these little whiskers and go right across there, okay? And that's why I've got my skewer. You wanna get something to hold these down. You wanna get something to hold those down so you don't lose your thumbprints again. So this is, <laughs> it's no fun when you lose your fingerprints to hot glue. Jeepers! Okay, now let's take our cute little pink pom-pom, little bitty guy, and we're just gonna put a little bit more glue on top of those whiskers, and we're gonna put his little nose on there. Just a little bit, and if you don't wanna use hot glue, you could use E6000. It's just gonna take a little bit longer to dry. I like the hot glue because it's like instant gratification. Okay, I'm gonna hold that little nose down on its little whiskers right there. So cute. So, so sweet. So that is his little nose. There's his little whiskers. And now that we've got those little cuties on, we gotta do his little eyeballs. So I've got the two little black pom-poms that we laid out, except for I lost one. Where'd it go? I'm gonna grab another. Let's go ahead and look at his sweet face and then figure out where you want your eyes. And then just do a teeny itty bitty dollop of glue, just a little teeny bit. There. And there. So I'm gonna take my eyes, I'm gonna stick them on that little bit of hot glue. I'm gonna use our chopstick, or I mean um, skewer. So I have a chopstick too that I use. If I'm quilting and I need to, you, I, I use it a lot for quilting when I'm trying to, you know, re, like I'm turning something inside out and sewing it. I use a chopstick to get really nice straight corners and stuff. Okay, so there we have its sweet little eyes. We've got its little nose. Look at that precious little face. Do you see how dear he is? Precious. And I say he, could be he, she, whatever. You can, if you want little boy bunnies, do boy bunnies. If you want girl bunnies, do girl bunnies. I think they're adorable. This little cutie is just so sweet. I'm gonna cut these strings off. I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna cut the uh, strings off from around its neck. And now let's just look at that precious face and decide what we wanna do with it. I love it so much. Okay, so I love, I just have an assortment of ribbon here, you guys. I have, golly, I have this aqua that I think is awesome. And it's just a scrap of ribbon that I have. I've got, um, this lace from the Dollar Tree, that's kind of cute. That might actually be sweet. You know what? Let's do a little lace around its neck. And then I have this assortment of um, paper flowers from the Hobby Lobby that I got. They're just adorable. Buy these things when they're on sale and they're really affordable. And I keep these in a little tote just for embellishments for things. I love those. So why don't we just do a little lace around her neck and then some little flowers and then we could put a little bow. We'll put, do a little bow up on her head and then she's done. And then I think we should take the gray sock and then do a little boy bunny and let's just do him with a little bow tie. I might have... You know what, if I dig down there, I might have some carrots. That might be kind of cute too. So there's that little sweetheart. So let's go ahead and just take a little bit of this lace and run it around her neck. And this is just all we're doing, sweethearts, is we're just kind of covering up the, um, the twine that we use to tie off the head from the, um, the body. So just that little teeny bit of lace. Oh, that's so cute. That is really cute. And that's a little cotton lace. That's sweet. Okay, little dollop of glue, hold that down. And I'm not doing it real, real tight. You can see that I just kinda, it's just kinda following its, its natural little neckline there. So, so sweet. Um, so let's take, I've got, ah, let's open these up. I love, you know what attracted me to this package? The buffalo plaid, the little buffalo plaid flowers. Look, oh my gosh, look at that. Well, there's pink, there's ivory. 
Why don't we do, I'm going to, I got it. I got to lay them all out and just look at these. While we're, while we're deciding on her sweet embellishments, let's have another sip of wine and toast to each other. Salud, sweet friends. This is for you guys. Happy Friday night, date night, craft night. Happy sock bunny night. This is fun. I love this. Mm. Delish. Okay. So I'm thinking with this little cutie, there's a pink one. There is the buffalo plaid, which I love. There are, there's like a little daisy that is so sweet. I think she's going to get a couple of those. And then I have these itty bitty ones, these itty bitty little paper flowers that look like little daisies. I'm going to use a couple of those and they're pink and yellow. I'm going to put a couple of those in there. Just kind of just meander them around. These little details like this are what make things so precious. They are the things that make the, these little projects so precious. So I'm going to come in here with my hot glue gun and I'm just going to eyeball. And I think I want the pink one. Let's do that. And then I love the buffalo plaid. We got to have that one. And then her friend can have the buffalo plaid uh, bow tie. I think that'll be really precious. And then I'm going to add uh, this daisy on there. And then I'm going to tuckle in a couple of these itty bitty little daisies. The little yellow one can go in there. And then another little pink one. They're precious. Oh my gosh, they're cute. And I think one more yellow. Okay, so that's how she's dolled up. She is just dolled up that way. So dang, isn't she sweet? She's so dang sweet. Now we need to put a little bow to cover up the twine on her ears. And I'm thinking, hmm, of course, you know, I've got my buffalo plaid out. You know, I've got that out. You know, I do. And then I have yellow and white polka dot, which I think is precious. And then I have this um, Easter stripe in the pastels. And I think that might just be the perfect little bow for her, her her little ears because it goes with the pink and everything and I might let me see do I want to do a little buffalo plaid over top of it and make it crazy let's do that let's just layer those two together why not why not I think that's adorable I'm going to cut a little piece of wire here and that wire is what we're going to use to hold our bow together so I got that ready so I'm going to take my little plaid and this is more of a gingham. It's not a buffalo plaid, it's a gingham. And I'm going to go over top of the stripe and I'm just going to do a little loop. Okay. And then I'm going to do another little loop. So now we've got a little figure eight and I'm going to pinch it in the middle. And then I'm going to cut off a little tail because she's little. She doesn't need a whole lot. I'm going to cut off a little bit of a tail. I'm going to twist it around and we're going to loop that back around and then attach it in the middle. And then we've got our wire. We've got a piece of wire here and I'm just going to pinch that off in the center, twist the wire around and then we'll cut the loop in half. Okay, there we go. I love the plaid. Hey, you know what? You do what you want to do. I love that Easter stripe with that black and white plaid. I think it's fun. It just makes me happy. And so that's what I'm going with. And now I've got that bow. I've got that cute little bow. And that little sweetie is going to sit right. I'm actually going to take that wire around her ear. And I'm going to attach it on there. And then we'll give it a little squeeze of hot glue. And that's going to hold it really cute. I love this. I want to make like a whole bunch of these things. You know what? I think they're sweet and I have so many places to put them. So it's like, why not? And I know that I'm going to end up making them with the grandkids and I'm going to end up giving some away. So I think that I'm going to make, you know, I've got like, what do I have? Like seven, seven more socks. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and make them all up and then do them just all like a little differently. So there's our little cutie with her little embellishment on her head, but I'm going to have to cut those tails. They're just too long. So let me come in here 
and I'm going to cut the tops, the black and white, the gingham, just across, and then I'm going to snip the stripes and give them a little bit of a diagonal snip. Let's go ahead and cut this one, and then we'll give these guys a little diagonal snip. Oh my gosh, she is cute. And then we've got our little ears. <laughs> Look what we just made with a sock. Ah! Oh! Except for I, I pulled the tail off. Let me, let me glue that back in. Let me glue that back in. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I did there. It's okay. We fix it. It's all good. Look at that precious little cutie. Isn't she just so sweet? Ah! Oh! So I'm going to take a little bit of glue on the between the bow and her little head and hold that down. I have it wired on, but I want that bow to be a little bit closer to her head. I want that down like that. Okay. Mm. Let me straighten these little tails out. And now we can come back in and we can put a little something in the middle of her in the middle of her little bow here. So I'm thinking maybe one of these little flowers would be so cute. I think I'm gonna do that little teeny itty bitty daisy. It's hard to see. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I'll do this pink daisy. That's too big. I'm gonna do one of the, the real small little daisies right down there in the middle. So cute. Oh, look at that little honey. She's ready for Easter. She is ready to decorate your table. Wherever you're going to put her, she's going to be so cute and so sweet there. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now we've got our first little honey bunny done. We got our first little honey bunny done. Let's go ahead and do the gray one. Same thing. And we're going to give him a little bow tie. Oh, I just love him. So we've got this little cutie. And we've got this little cutie. We've got like a little family going on. Oh, I love them so much. Hi, Mark. How are you? Good. So Mark hears me getting so excited. He had to come. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot to put a tail on him. So here's what I have. I've got these little white pom-poms. Let's go ahead and give him a little bunny butt. A little hot glue. Ta-da! Look at him! He's just as cute from the back! She, so cute. <laughs> I know, Mark heard me getting all excited up here, and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're making sock bunnies! There we go, you guys. Sweet as can be. Love that. Okay, so now we've got this little cutie done, and you can make them... Now, you can put as much rice in your socks as you want, um, so just remember that if you don't want them as full, you know, if you want them taller and thinner, you know, use a more slender profile sock, just play around with what you have. I'm just using the socks that I have left over from the gnomes. And I told you I bought those dumb big things. I, I mean, I'm going to laugh about this all night long. Like, honestly, I don't know anybody. I don't know a dude that whose feet is, <laughs> you guys, oh, have you ever? I've never. Okay, so now look at this little cute gray guy. Let's go ahead and do the gray one up and we'll have our little sweet bunny family going on here. So I'm gonna fill my cup with rice again. Now this is a, let's see, how big is this bag of rice? Um, this is two pounds of rice. So you'll probably get two bunnies for two pounds of rice. Um, and then I do, you know, I did buy this big bag. What is this guy? Four pounds. I bought another four pound bag because I think I want to make a whole bunch of them because I think they're just adorable. So I'm going to open up the sock and I'm going to pour that rice in. And I know I'm going to need more of that four pound bag too. Yep. Precious. Precious. Let's open up this rice and pour some of that in our cup. I'm just going to snip the corner off. I hope you guys have started all your Easter decorations. You know, it's just, so, there's so much, there's so many cute things to do. 
And there's just not enough time sometimes to do them all. That's what, that is what it amounts to, I think, a lot of times. Okay, so this guy, I think he's going to be just a little teeny bit bigger. Uh, maybe not. Just a little bit bigger than her. That's okay. So there we've got him. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Take that twine. We're going to, you know, decide where his little head's going to be. But we don't want to sever it like I did the last time. We just want to go around it and um, just kind of tie it off loosely just to make the definition of the head. And what you can do is as you're doing this, you can push rice up in into the head to fill it out a little bit. So let's tie that off. Okay. You can hardly see what I'm doing here. All right. Now, let's tie off the top where his little ears are. Get a piece of that twine. This little gray one's sweet. This is cute. I don't know which one I like better. I like them all, actually. They're precious. You want to tie the top one a little bit tighter because we don't want the rice coming back up through its ears. Okay. Let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? Look! Look how long those ears are. That's so good. Let's cut those little sweeties in half. Right down the middle. Those are going to be nice long floppers. And my little short scissors. My little snips to get closer. My sister Susie gave me these little snips years ago when I started quilting, and I love them. They're treasures. I love them so much. Okay, so there we've got his little sweet ears. Let's go ahead and glue those little sweethearts back together again. Get your glue gun and just glue those little ears back together. So the gray sock was definitely a lot longer than the cream, which is kind of funny because they all came in the same package. You never know about stuff anymore these days, right? Okay, that's cutie, cutie, cutie. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Okay. Just gluing the two pieces together. And you know what? You don't have to get real perfect with this because it's in the back and you don't really see it. And the fluffy socks kind of cover up any of the errors that, you, that might be there, like if it's not perfect. Okay, look at that. Ah! So dang cute. Now, same thing we have to do is whiskers and his eyes. Okay, the deal is I used on this little sweetheart, we used the gray twine for its whiskers. The gray is not going to work on the gray bunny, so let me get in here. I've got pink and green. Let's see what, it, what I have here. I think he's going to have pink whiskers. I think that'll be cute. Let's go ahead and give him pink whiskers. I didn't really have a, another color to use, but I think that's going to be sweet. And he might get four whiskers. Let's just see. Let's just see how that looks. I got this twine, you guys, at the Dollar Tree for a buck. And I got green, purple, pink, and gray. I just thought that was a great deal. I think that, do you think that the pink's too bright? I think the pink's too bright. Um, let me see what I have. I got a tote here. You know what we might do? I've got some jute. You know what, I got a little piece of jute here. Maybe we want to unravel the jute. That's got a knot in it. Let me cut that knot off. Let's unravel the jute. Yeah, that's going to be better. I think the pink is just a little bit too overpowering on the gray. So I just took the jute apart. He's going to, you know what? I actually think this is a good mistake because his, oh, look at this, you guys. The jute is, they are um, curly. Oh my heavens, I love that. 
That is just so darn cute. Look at those little curly whiskers. Oh, oh, okay, let's do that. I'm glad that happened. See, we figured something out here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna take a little dollop of glue. Since I'm doing four pieces of jute, I'm gonna give it a little extra glue here. I'm gonna put those down. I want them all to be in that glue a little bit. And let's go ahead and just hold that down with our bamboo skewer. <laughs> These things make me so happy. They're just so cute. And then he's going to have a little pink nose too. Let's go ahead and just put that little dab of glue on there and give him his little pink nose. And I'll go ahead and hold my hold it down with my skewer. Here we go. Hold it down for a little second. Isn't it sweet how they all just kind of take on a life of their own? They're, they're just so sweet. I love them. Okay, so there's those crazy little curly whiskers that he has. So now, let's go ahead and find two more little black pom-poms, and we'll give him his little eyes. And I guess you could do brown or whatever color you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and just use the black. Look at that little face of his and decide where those eyeballs need to go. I'm doing his a little closer to the whisker. The girls, I went up a little higher. The boy, I'm going to go down a little lower. All right, there we go. And I'm going to hold that down with its with the skewer again. Saving our fingertips and our thumbprints. Yay! Look at that little face. He's so cute. Crazy little guy. Now, he is such a sweet gentleman. He is actually going to have a, a bow tie. I'm going to snip those little... Um, strings off from his hair, head and I think for this let's use that turquoise and make just a simple little bow tie I think that'd be sweet and I'm just going to make a loop of the ribbon and another loop of the ribbon and I'm going to cut it right there and then I'm going to take another piece and tie it off and that'll make it look like a more like a more formal bow tie Gonna go around the middle here and just tie that right down the middle. This is so tricky to show you how to do it because it's like, it just seems so convoluted and knotted up, but it's not. Okay, so there's our bow tie. Twist it around so we can see, oh, you know what? I took it apart. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Sorry about that, friends. There, there, we make our eight. Pinch it off in the middle. Come around. Tie it off. This ribbon is a little thick and it's not wired. And I always buy wired ribbon. Um, and I bought this for something that it, it didn't need to be a wired ribbon, but that's why I like wired ribbon. I mean, use my, other, my, my third hand here. All right, that's better. Okay, now we got that sweetie tied off and we've got our bow tie. So now I wanna kinda, I wanna turn it so where all the polka dots are showing. Gotta have all the polka dots showing. I don't want the back side of the ribbon showing. So there's our, that's gonna be our cute little bow tie on our handsome little dapper guy. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and snip the edges into a V. Finish that off. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue it on. So adorable. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do it right there. Just off to the side. Or maybe he needs to be right in the middle. Yep, let's do him in the middle. It's a, it's a, it's a bow tie. He needs to be right in the middle. What was I thinking? Okay, so he's right down there in the center. 
Look at that little cutie. Oh, he's a chunky guy too. I love it. So there's our little dude, our little bunny guy. And then we've got this sweet little uh, girl. Oh, I love her so much. But I think for this little sweetheart, well, I'm gonna give him a brown little tail. I think, I think that's just really cute for him. So let's go ahead and let's glue on his little fluffy cotton tail. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, can you resist a bunny butt? I can't resist a bunny butt. I just think they're so cute. So, so cute. I got a little string here I'm gonna to snip too. All right, guys, look how easy they were. And they couldn't get any cuter. I was like, honestly, I just don't know how I could get any, any uh, just more, I can't imagine it getting any more adorable than this. I'm glad that we, I'm glad that we uh, decided to try the jute because those little curly whiskers are just precious. And this little sweetheart. So there we go. There's our little project for tonight. I'm going to put these on the tiered tray that we made. Oh my gosh. About two months ago or so, we made those adorable tiered trays. And I'm going to do one up for Easter tomorrow. And I'll share that with you guys. And then I will post the video of decorating this crazy Easter tree off to the side here. Um, it was just way too long to do it live. It, it just, like, it, like I said, it took me about an hour and 40 minutes, hour and 45 minutes or so. So anyway, Mark's chopping it down to where it's like, you know, something that you guys could, would want to watch. But there's our sweet little honeys for tonight. Our, our little honey Easter bunnies. I love them. And you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'm glad that we got to have our Friday night craft night together. This was so much fun. We, I have, um, let me see about this. We will be doing another uh, project, maybe Sunday. Maybe Sunday evening we'll do another one. But we're going to do a couple of them to get you all caught up so we can have, in the next week or so, you can have all your Easter projects done. And then you can enjoy them for a couple of weeks until Easter comes, okay? So listen, everybody, let's have our last little toast to one another. Cheers to each one of you, sweet friends. Have a wonderful weekend. Do something kind for yourself. You know, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just, you know, um, just stay safe and know that you're loved and you're cherished. And cheers to each one of you. Happy craft night, you guys. Happy Easter bunnying. Happy Easter bunnying. Oh. oh, delicious. Love you guys. Have a wonderful evening and a fantastic weekend. I will check back with you soon. Love you. Have a good night.